Okay, so y'all read that. Y'all read it correct. In this video, y'all are gonna see me make a custom for Z-Way's Showtime Show Z-Way. It all started after pulling up the Showtime app. Is it that we're a joint interview because two Asians equals one white person? Mm. I don't think that way. I don't think in terms of race. Black geniuses, black imbeciles, black children, black people. I'm a black woman. Black, 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 black. Next question. Naturally, after binge watching all of the seasons, I slid in Z-Way's DMs and was like, hey, can I make you a custom? I just want to support. And she said, heck to the yes. And so custom was made. She posted it on her story and tagged me. And that was the beginning of our relationship. She asked for my email and suddenly this was what she said. And I quote, hi, Pam, I want to connect you with Dinah. She made the sweater you love today. Dinah, meet Pam. She's the costume designer for my Showtime show. We should collaborate. Thanks for your time. Best Z-Way. And so months had passed and it was finally time. I go ahead. I send, up, send in a design and I head to Michael's where I look for the yarn. And um, yeah, that's where the story begins. So coming back to today. So I thought I found the colors. I thought these were good. They were similar to the sketch that I had made. And so I go on ahead and I send Pam a picture of the yarn that I had bought at the store. And Pam immediately gives me a call and she's like, no, honey, this is not the one we're looking for. We need, we need rich, we need vibrancy, we need saturation. And I was like, you are so right because that is all Z-Way because I'm in the process of moving right now. I have, I knew I had some yarn stashed away. I knew I did. I ran back to my apartment as soon as I could. I tried looking for my stash as much as possible. And we came up with the final color combos. And so now this is the official design that we are going for. These are the sketches that we have made. Well, I have made, sorry, my drawing is terrible. Please excuse me. But we're gonna have the Z motif in the front. It's gonna be like um, very saturated pinks on either side. And on the back, I'm putting Z-Way's full name on it because if we do want a Z-Way custom card again, we go in for Rollway. The deadline that we have for me to ship the cardigan on over is July 12th. It is currently July 2nd. So I have 10 days, not just to crochet, but to get it to them. These are the official colors that we went with. They're two different types of yarn, which, um, you know, of course, as a designer, it makes me a little bit nervous, but it's the same weight. And so I don't think I should have any trouble combining these two colors together. Anyway, I'm done talking now. Now that I've given you all that background, okay, let's just get into it. Let's make this custom. So I'm gonna go ahead, start getting to work, and I will update y'all in a bit. <laughs> I've been moving quite slow because I've been in the process of uh, moving back into my apartment. I moved back into this apartment with a new roommate. So you'll notice it's like the same settings, but it's also changing because I'm completely attempting to redecorate the space and make it feel as if though I moved into a whole new apartment. I also have a full-time job. Yeah, this is only my second day of work and um, 
I just for real, for real be burnt out by the end of it because I'm still adjusting, because I am still moving and I'm just exhausted from it all. But I have made progress, a lot less progress than I was trying to make, but progress is being made nonetheless. I have completed the front panel of the cardigan. As you can see, we got a nice dual split tone going on with the v-neck so i hope that looks good and i also just finished the back panel so this is the back panel as you can see not very well but i swear it says it it says the way you have a plan to make this a bit more obvious of the fact that it does in fact say the way up on there the next steps is I am actually going to move on to doing the arms. So, please excuse my very not bougie workstation. I'm working on getting my studio together. Um, it's not together right now, so this is what we got. But the way I'm gonna try and figure out how big I want, like how wide I want it, is I know that in order for a sleeve to fit comfortably, it needs to be at least. 12 inches wide so I'm thinking I'll be creating a 16 by 16 inch square for the sleeves but I like to measure it out and see what 16 by 16 actually looks like and if it looks far down enough 16 by 16 looks like a solid length especially because we're gonna add the ribbing and so I'm content with a 16 by 16 y'all think I should have done a deeper v-neck these are the types of things I'm very uncertain about. Like I really don't know until it's on. If I need to fix the neckline, I'll come back and do that later. But hopefully I won't have to fix it. Hopefully it's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and um, write this down so I don't forget these measurements. But just thinking about the fact that this will be on television and be on the host of one of my favorite shows. I remember when Z-Way came out and I was just like kind of taken aback and blown out by it because here I, I'm seeing a dark skinned black woman, originally from Massachusetts, but went to school at Northwestern, so Midwest, woo, 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 having their own TV show, being funny as heck, talking about societal issues and being fashionable at the same time. Talk about making a statement. And now I'm literally here having already designed something for them, but designing something for them again, um, you know, that I got fully paid for. Every penny I asked for, I got it. I really love and appreciate Z-Way and her team. I think that they are one of the few people who, who walk, who don't just talk, but walk the talk too, and do what they say they're going to do. And it's just been so amazing. And I'm just so, grateful for this opportunity and I hope to have more opportunities like this in the future. Enough of that, I'm gonna get to work. I will talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so um, update. I did finish the arms yesterday. That's about all I did. Um, however, I made more work for myself because I was questioning whether this v-neck was gonna be deep enough. It's just not deep enough, especially because I'm going to add ribbing. It's a v-neck, but it's not a deep v-neck. So I'm going to have to undo pretty much all of this. I'm going to take the d-neck, I'm sorry, the v-neck just a little bit deeper. You know, if a little boobage shows, that's okay. I don't want, I think I've been over accommodating what I feel the size is. And so I think I'm going to just go for it deepen it just literally like probably two two more rows so that's gonna add about another two to three hours on my plate um and right now i'm in the midst of doing the embroidery yes i know it looks so much better but as you can see this side it doesn't have embroidery you can't really see it as much this side does have the embroidery and it pops out a lot more it's my first time doing back stitches so is it a bit messy yeah is it a bit wonky yeah but i think it just adds character my goal for today is to go ahead and finish this i gotta stop talking to you and go ahead and finish this and in addition i'm going to go ahead and fix this v-neck make it deeper um, and 
At that point, I'm gonna sew all of the pieces together and then I'm going to add the ribbing to this piece. And yeah, we're just gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving. I'm, I'm really excited to see this come together. Like the additional stitching I add really just mwah, like it, mwah, like it increased it so much. It sucks because like this part is so cute, right? But it's on the back, you know? So hopefully, maybe there'll be a scene where you may wanna turn around and show this to everybody, who knows? But you know, all right so it is the next day and this is the progress so there are two ways this cardigan be, can be worn so first thing i sent the update to pam we need to make this v-neck wider so in order to do that i'm gonna have to undo the attachings of the front of this the shoulder parts and also the arm and undo back here so yeah i should have I, I should have went deeper to begin with when i first undid it but I was overcompensating because I was like, do they want to show boobs? Are they not? And I didn't realize how much ribbing, how much the ribbing would also make this look smaller too. So this is what it looks like from the back. I'm not sure how, how well y'all can see that or if it even helps to go closer, but that's what it looks like from the back, right? And it's cool because I don't know exactly how they're trying to style it. So they could really style it like this where they wear, where uh, Z-Way's wearing it literally as a sweater, a baggy oversized type sweater like this. But then I also didn't know, because people have so many different versions of oversized, but uh, it can also be worn more so as a dress on her, especially because she's two inches shorter than me. So this would even go a little bit lower. I try to compensate for that. And so it could also be worn as like, the statement piece itself, you know what I mean, as this dress. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a much deeper V-neck so that you know it, it, it's giving it's giving body yaddy a little bit more than what it's giving. Right now it's giving bag and we need to give it body yaddy. Hello everyone, what's up? It's been some time. Um, I'm joining you in my studio room, which uh, is why I completely forgot to update y'all. My twin sister came and we painted the walls. These used to be a green and now they're just a bright, crisp white, which I mean, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, sorry, I didn't give y'all progress updates as to what I was doing and everything, but just to catch y'all up, I did the V-neck um the first time but the v-neck was too small and i realized the problem wasn't necessarily that i didn't make it too deep but i did undo and make it deep as y'all know it was just that um when i was doing the ribbing like i must have been doing it a little too tight or something and it just like smurred like i don't know how to, it just struck yesterday while i was waiting to hear back i decided to just paint this room so that's all that i did yesterday today this morning i got an email confirming that the v-neck looks good and um to keep going and so i just added the final details which was the z and the pockets and so with that y'all i'm done this is the finished product it looks so freaking cute i personally really love the highlights of this very light pink color it almost looks white but no it's a very light pink color and um i use that same top to sew on the z and i just think that this is really stunning it really really came to life it's so bright and it's so colorful which is simply um Z Way's aesthetic, and so I do think that they will love this. I'm gonna pack, write the note, get all of the FedEx account information, um, and I'm also going to make an extra special gift for both Z Way and Pam. I'm gonna make them my fluffy bucket hats. I'm gonna make one in pink for Z Way and one in orange for Pam because I know they both wear fluffy bucket hats. So might as well make, give them one of my handmade crochet as my way of just saying thank you for giving me this amazing opportunity as stressful as the process was kind of going through it and having to work with revisions and under, you know, like a 
a deadline and a timeline while I was starting my new job. It definitely was a lot, but it was also something I know that it's just gonna pay off in a major, major way. But I am so, so, so looking forward to it. And I am just so heavily grateful and I want them to know that. Um, yeah, it really has been a pleasure working on this process, but I will update y'all um, tonight. Um, once I am all settled down and we are going to go ahead and finish this out. Now, I sent Pam the final version of the sweater and we decided to take the Z out of the sweater and just leave it, leave it with this in the back. So we're going to, I'm going to remove the Z, etc., etc. So I'm going to begin by finding my pen and y'all are just going to watch me, um, finish all of this up um, so that I can spend the rest of my evening getting ready for work tomorrow and cleaning up my space because my space is a hot mess right now. some issues i've never delivered a package with fedex before number one but i've also never delivered a package with fedex using an account number before either and so i'm quite lost as to what to do so my plan is i'm just going to go to fedex bright and early in the morning you know what i might actually give um my mentor chelsea I might text her and ask if she has any advice in terms so I know if I'm doing it right or not. But that's it for tonight, y'all. I will update you in the morning what ends up happening with this packaging situation. But your girl is finally done with, I guess, the hardest part. So let's just get it out so it gets to them in time for the fitting. Fingers crossed. We got this. Good morning. Sorry, I'm realizing that I almost forgot to get my camera out and update y'all. But as y'all can see, I am heading to FedEx with my package. 